Hi guys, this is Attila 3 p 9 again, and I'm back doing videos. So, as you probably noticed, I haven't been creating videos for the past half a year, I think. Uh, that was because I got a new PC, and um, uh, my older microphone didn't work with it, so I couldn't make video tutorials uh, because my microphone didn't work. And um, I just today I just bought a new microphone and I decided to make a video tutorial. Um, as you probably noticed, um, I have Windows Vista installed. This is my new PC and it has Windows Vista Ultimate 64-bit edition installed on it. So my thoughts of Windows Vista are pretty good. I mean, it's it's awesome. It looks awesome. Uh, it's performance is enough for me because I have a good gaming rig PC and um, uh, I really like the Aero uh, graphical user interface it gives this transparent look and you know it just uh, like gives you this glassy look so I really like it it's definitely better than Windows XP's um, Luna which is like I got really bored of it so in this uh, video tutorial, I'm just going to show you a little program that's called VirtualBox. Now, VirtualBox is a virtual machine creator tool. With VirtualBox, you can create um, virtual machines that are like a, a computer inside a window. Inside a computer inside your own computer. Uh, what's good is this, you can install a different operating system on it. Like, I have uh, currently... Uh, uh, like my primary operating system is currently Windows Vista and uh, I installed my virtual machine XP and Windows Vista uh, so I'm just gonna sh um, start XP um, a quick note this virtual machine needs real memory um, both RAM and both uh, HDD space that's hard for hard drive disk space um, but it's worth it if you like. Um, you can you can test programs on a virtual machine pretty easily. Uh, if something goes wrong, nothing happens to your real PC. So as you see, it automatically like gives the seamless mode. I'm just gonna give it back its original shape. Um, yeah, as you see, it's in a window. Uh, this is Windows Vista. This is XP. Uh, I can go full screen. And I can go in this thing called seamless mode. As you see, I have two taskbars. Uh, this is Windows t Vista. This is Windows XP. I can prove it to you. Um, I'm just gonna show. This is Windows XP. And this is Windows Vista. As you see, Windows XP, Windows Vista. Pretty clearly. And um, I have the Tango Hashed theme installed on my XP machine because it's pretty sleek, it's pretty, um, I really like it, and, um, it just, I think it fits nearby Vista. So, uh, I'm gonna show you that internet works pretty fine. I'm just gonna go to Firefox. This is in the virtual machine, by the way. Open YouTube. Full screen. Everything works fine. Um, a quick note. Uh, you should install an antivirus uh, program to your virtual machine if you're gonna browse the internet and test out programs. I definitely recommend it. And there's one antivirus that I really recommend. That's Avast Home Edition. Um, Avast is a wonderful antivirus system. Uh, it's just simply it's it's free. It, they have this free edition that um, is awesome, and I really like it. It it doesn't eat much memory and blah blah blah. So it's really fast and it catches most of the viruses. So yeah. By the way, on the virtual machine, you there's one note. Virtual machine caution. The virtual box is my favorite um uh virtualization tool. There are other alternatives. There is uh, Virtual PC from Microsoft. Uh, I really don't like it because they discontinued their. Um, the, you cannot install Windows XP Home Edition. Uh, only professional and all those Vista versions. But this 
you can install all the Linux versions and Mac OS X versions and all the Windows versions here easily. Um, plus there's VimeWare. I have VimeWare. I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna exit seamless mode. Um, yeah. So I have VimeWare right here. I don't like VimeWare because it doesn't allow you to um, install custom build uh, operating systems. Those have, I mean, those operating systems that have been modified. Uh, like I have Windows XP Performance Edition here installed and the Windows Vista Mini Edition, uh, which are the fastest editions of both operating systems and they work perfectly on virtual machines. I I gave five to five hundred and twelve megabytes of RAM for my um, XP machine and seven hundred sixty eight megabytes of RAM for my Vista machine. Uh, I use Vista machine for testing programs that work only for Vista. So yeah, so this is basically the end of my tutorial. So thank you for watching. If you like my video, comment, rate, subscribe, maybe. Uh, if you have any questions at all about my videos or simply tech stuff, message me here on YouTube. Um, I'm soon gonna open a client, a, a Skype client that will be uh, forwarded to my YouTube account, and you can contact me live. So that's coming up. So thank you for watching this video, and see ya.